Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the company update from Cisco Gold Royalties on Commodity TV. And once again, the company shines with strong figures and numbers. The operating cash flow increased sharply to $50.4 million with a cash margin of 97%. Shareholders participate with an 8% increase in the dividend. The company received 22,259 gold equivalent ounces and revenues from royalties and streams amounted to $60.8 million. Cost of sales were just $1.8 million, resulting in a quarterly cash margin as set of 97% and net earnings of $15.1 million or $0.08 cents per basic share. Adjusted earnings amounted to $29.7 million US dollars or $0.16 cents per basic share. $43.6 million were also repaid under the revolving credit facility. Cash is $70.6 million and debt is down to $151.9 million as of 31st March 2024, subsequent to the quarter to end. Additional repayments of $18.6 million were made on the revolving credit facility and the maturity date was extended from September 29, 2026 to 30th April 2028. As previously mentioned, the quarterly dividend has now been increased to 6.5 cents per common share. Jason Atu, President and CEO for Cisco Gold Royalties, commented, Cisco has made a great start to 2024 after a solid first quarter. Strong sales and cash flows have allowed Cisco to continue to rapidly pay down the company's revolving credit facility. As a result, Cisco's balance sheet remains well positioned to deploy capital to growth enhancing opportunities going forward. In addition, the consistency and predictability of our cash flows underpin our confidence to increase the base dividend by 8% as we enter a period of substantial and meaningful growth over the next few years. That's what Jason Etu said. The first three months of the year have seen further catalysts for Osisco. Positive included Thaus 32's final investment decision for Hamosa and Alamos Gold's planned acquisition of the Magino mine and mill, which is directly adjacent to the island gold mine. Recently and after quarter end, Metals Acquisition released an updated reserve and resource uh, statement for CSA in which the mine life was increased from 6 to 11 years based on the reserves alone. This gives Osisco another 5 years at least of predictable additional revenue. Very nice, I would say. The company remains on track to meet its geo delivery guidance for 2024 and expects increasing gold equivalent ounces deliveries in the second half of 2024, including the first geo deliveries from the CSA Copper Stream from 15th June 2024 onwards, plus deliveries from G Mining Ventures to Continuo and Cardinal Namdini Mines. The pointed figure chart looks also good. The price has generated a pro cyclical buy signal and the over overriding price target for the share is now 40 Canadian dollars. You can also find all the information on our commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer, the share is part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and of course I'm a shareholder in the company. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.